Lower door testing is a critical part of understanding how a building functions. Retrotech blower doors are designed to be easily set up and allow performance of a full infiltration test in only a few steps. Each must be done correctly in order to ensure the validity of the results as well as the comfort and safety of the residents and workers. Each blower door comes with this quick guide. The guide covers every aspect of operating your system in only a few steps. Step 1. Prepare the building. Preparing the building involves placing the building in closed house conditions, which includes closing all outside doors and windows and opening all interior doors. Make sure that any HVAC systems, exhaust fans, dryers, air conditioners, furnaces, and other combustion appliances are turned off. If the home has a gas hot water heater, turn it to pilot. Any heating or cooling registers or grills should not be covered. Make sure fireplaces are clean and any other additional safety hazards are properly addressed. Step two, install the system. Installing the system involves assembling the door panel and connecting tubes, control cables, and power cords. To assemble the door panel, arrange the aluminum frame section on the floor and match the corners according to the numbers stamped on each section. You can now put together the frame by sliding the sections together until the connections lock into position. Make sure all black knobs are loosened and then place the frame in the exterior door you have selected and size the frame for the door opening you will be using, adjusting the frame until it is snug, but not tight, all the way around the doorway. Tighten the knobs, leaving the cams loose before removing the frame so you can install the cloth panel. Stretch the cloth panel over the frame with the fan hole at the bottom. Loosely connect the Velcro tabs around the frame, starting with the bottom. Pull the top taut, securing the Velcro, and move to the sides to do the same. Insert the frame back into the doorway. If the frame is loose, loosen the black knobs and adjust the frame to be snug before tightening the black knobs again. At this point, you can engage all cam levers to lock the frame into the doorway. Tug on the frame to ensure a tight fit. You can now install the two crossbars, attaching your gauge to the upper one. We are using the Retrotech DM32 Smart Gauge. Connect the umbilical to the gauge, red to red and yellow to yellow. Also, connect the provided speed control cable to the top control port. Now, pass the long red reference hose through the small hole at one of the bottom corners of the cloth panel. Make sure that once this is through, the hose extends at least five feet to one other side of the opening, and the end of the hose is not obstructed by dirt, water, or other objects. The fan can now be inserted into the opening on the cloth panel and attached to the lower crossbar. Connect the speed control cable, power cord, and yellow tube to their respective taps on the fan, making sure the fan power switch is off. And finally, connect the fan power plug to a wall outlet. Step three, the blower door depressurization test. Turn on your DM32 smart gauge. There will be a visual representation of the device the gauge is currently prepared to use. If this does not represent your blower door device, simply press the icon and choose the appropriate device you are using. Now, you should conduct a baseline test to take into account the difference in pressure between the home and the outdoors. To do this, tap Settings and then Baseline. Now just tap Capture Baseline and wait until the number on the top of the screen steadies, usually around 20 seconds. Once steady, tap End Capture to accept the baseline pressure. Return to the home screen and ensure both channel A and channel B are displaying units in which you want to conduct this test. For instance, Pascal's on channel A and CFM on channel B. You can change the units by tapping in channel B output display area, then choosing your desired results. There are three methods to operate the Retrotech fan. You can use the gauge's set pressure or set speed functions or the speed control knob on the fan body. It is recommended that if you are just learning to use the DM32 smart gauge and the Retrotech blower door, you should disconnect the speed control cable and run the fan by turning the speed control knob on the fan body instead of utilizing the gauge to control the fan. 
Remember, if you utilize the set pressure method and an exterior door is opened, the fan will speed up and try to depressurize this new larger space. And when that door is closed, the blower door could fall out of the frame or areas of the home could be harmed from the sudden increase in pressure. For this video, we're gonna utilize the full abilities of the DM32 and let it control the fan speed. With the blower door and smart gauge now fully connected, take the cover off the fan and turn on the main fan power switch so that it can begin the test. Press set pressure, enter 25 pascals, and then press set. The fan will start automatically and speed up until 25 pascals is reached. Take the time to perform a walkthrough of the home to make sure that nothing negative has occurred by the fan starting. If everything looks good after this walkthrough, continue to depressurize to 50 pascals either by pressing the up arrow or by stopping the test and using the set pressure button and entering 50 pascals. Once 50 pascals is reached, record the CFM rate from channel B. To make this easier, you can tap the at pressure to have the displayed results reflect negative 50 pascals exactly. After recording your results and with the fan still running is an optimal time to perform any other diagnostic testing that is aided by the blower door. Additionally, you can change the results to be displayed by tapping channel B output display or settings, then results to be displayed. There are a couple of things to keep in mind during any test. In the second row, channel A output is represented. Tapping the channel A output display will hold the display, allowing you to write down the results. If channel B in the third row does not display any results at all, this is for one of two reasons. One reason is that the hose connection is loose. Check all hose connections before beginning each test to ensure that this is not the cause. The other possibility is that the range ring on the fan needs to be changed. If the test pressure of 50 pascals has been reached, but no result appears and the fan is running slowly, this indicates the current range will not work because the home is too tight for the current fan configuration. Add the next lower range ring and make sure to change the smart gauge before beginning the test again. If you do this and you still do not gain a result, another range change and reconfiguration of the gauge is necessary. If the fan reaches 100% speed before reaching 50 pascals, remove a range ring and try again. Always remember to ensure that the proper device and range are selected before beginning each test. Blower door infiltration testing is a critical part of understanding how each building is currently functioning. Performing this test properly is necessary to ensure that all current and future work is effective and beneficial to the health and safety of any building.